I started that project because uh, my father is a photographer. He worked as a freelance photographer in East Germany. He was commissioned by um, a combine to portray socialist production and the workers in the people-owned factories. And uh, I got interested in um, particular in this part of um, of his archive in order to uh, figure out a language and a vocabulary in order to articulate the kind of one could call it the economic schizophrenia that exists through through these images. Uh, we have been um, trying to develop a methodology how to engage with this material and what you see here is uh, the first exhibition that opened uh, in the framework of the project which was last year in Leipzig and Leipzig was a very important place to start with because um, the images my father produced that were taken in the people on factories were exhibited in Leipzig at the International Trade Fair which took place twice a year. First I would like to um, carve out the two kind of important strands within the archive of 19,500 images. So one is what I'd already kind of uh, touched and introduced that uh, these images are portraying and documenting workers in the factories. Like here you see a picture that was taken for the purpose to be exhibited in the International Trade Fair as a display instrument, as a background design, as an instrument, not just a background, but as an instrument in order to promote the product here, the lamps, uh, in the framework of production. And this is something very specific for kind of a, uh, a strategy to, uh, for, for advertisement and also for, um, for, for, for the economic space where products would be um, sold, that the conditions of production, the working conditions, are part of the display and of the kind of uh, presentation in the fair where the product would be promoted. This is um, kind of an, a second strand that runs through the archive which is the documentation of the international delegation that were um, guided through these um, uh, trade uh, and you see here a delegation from Soviet Union which is next a, de a delegation from Congo and um, this is I mean what I have been pointing out kind of a specificity um, that runs through that these delegations uh, are all portrayed here for the purpose to be archived. So these pictures were not produced necessarily to be exhibited again in a kind of an exhibitionary kind of environment, but the images were produced in order to uh, place them in the factory, in the combine archive, but also to give these pictures to the delegation. So what the photographer did was to develop the uh, images very quickly uh, overnight in order to give it as a collection of pictures to the delegation that would leave the next day. So this is one box of um, seven altogether um, that uh, the way how we kind of encountered the, the archive. The archive was not digitalized and uh, this is an example for a, a photo film. It's a middle format film which would allow to produce a high resolution picture that could be blown up and also present in a large scale way at the fair itself. Derrida called the archive as a, as a space of house arrest, where the material that is in the archive is put into house arrest. And the um, moment to activate it, uh, Derrida calls it, a, it's, a, it's a mode of fever, but nevertheless the archival body and the archival structure is kind of um, framed and defined through institutional and juridical kind of uh, um, instances and definitions. But we did not aim at all to reconstruct a uh, historical moment or to reconstruct the economic space of the real existing socialists in the GDR, rather to use this material in order to uh, um, develop this vocabulary that allows us to speak about the conflation and the deeply entangled relation between socialism and capitalism that was articulated in this economic kind of framework. This is a, a selection of images from the archive. So how do you select from 19,500 pictures those pictures that you would like to exhibit in an exhibition? And we came up with a pool of altogether 140 uh, photographs and what you see here is now the selection again from these for the publication. So you see these factory pictures, uh, workers discussing, it's a very typical question, one could call it a question moment in, 
in this photographic practice in relation also how to portray, how to capture labor. Is there a way how we can talk visually about labor? Is there a way to talk, uh, is there a way that uh, economics could be visually articulated as well? This is Arca Electric, is the, um, we would call it today, advertisement agency that commissioned my father to take the pictures and they had developed an entire kind of um, catalog of principles to, uh, for a graphic design and uh, for the kind of a corporate identity, how it would be called today, in order to promote these um, commodities um, that would be placed on display. These household product. We were not interested in dealing with the question is it art or is it non-art, it's rather the question how is it possible to articulate this different kind of uh, phases and also this different kind of temperatures of the material. So what we did here in the Leipzig, in the, it's, an, it's a former industrial building, a former cotton spinning mill which is today a center for contemporary art that we have, uh, it's a 2000 square meters exhibition space. So this is quite something to work with. This is um, um, the exhibition um, proposal that was uh, realized in, uh, in Leipzig, at this exhibition at the Center for Contemporary Arts there. So you see here that we made the selection of, uh, of pictures from the archive to be mounted on the wall. Here, for example, uh, you see the interviews. This is Hans Otto Bräutigam, who was this representative from West Germany in the GDR. What you see here is, the, is a vintage material. It's a material that the photographer used to produce in order to present his documentation and uh, his kind of commission towards the commissioner. This was shown in Leipzig. Mm -hmm. So some of the people that are in the photographs yeah. still live in Leipzig. Yeah. And was there an encounter between them and their images 30 years later? For example, these women. Yeah, I mean, uh, this was the, really the advantage to have it in Leipzig. It was important to have it also there the first time. That we had a lot of responses from the general uh, public. And it was beautiful, I have to say. We, people responded and came and approached us and, uh, well, said, well, I remember that. It was a very important moment uh, until 1990, this International Trade Fair. It changed the city entirely. And uh, this project enabled a reflection and also invited um, to talk, to speak about this kind of memory that is totally erased uh, in the public discussion nowadays in Germany. I mean, the period of East Germany and the socialism is something that does not quite show up in the, in the history books. And this tells something about how um, the, uh, the public uh, kind of discourse, but also um, how this kind of uh, memory is, uh, does still exist and it exists in the bodies of the people but not in the public discussion. So there is a direct relation which is beautiful because you also break up this kind of space and the limits of contemporary art and the space of contemporary art, the exhibition space. So, I mean, to make this project and to articulate also a certain kind of um, momentary manifestation allows to uh, feed into a process of production of knowledge that does not necessarily like um, walks around and wanders around in the domain of, of art and this was also an important aspect of it that we could not plan.